Okay, this is the brick ball that is directly above that that long joist there that's from side to side. That's the, that's the main one that's sagging. And you can see this is our living room. And we left the carpet in here. Um, I removed the carpet from the dining room. And it, you can see it's covered in that uh, gluey stuff. And we wanted to try to save the, uh, the wood floors. We had, we had taken the, um, the carpet out of the bedroom first. And that floor looked pretty salvageable. Then we took it out of the d dining room. And it's in a lot worse shape. There's a big chunk of plywood here that they'd put around that that uh, air intake, air return. And then you can see uh, um, about the point where the floor joists change direction, the wood flooring also changes direction. And it's, um, and it's really poor, you know, it's falling apart. It's actually, um, this, this flooring is put in different. It doesn't have like an under support like that one does. So we just decided we're gonna put new flooring over it. Besides that, we'll raise it up to the level that the previous owner put uh, the tile in for the for the the kitchen, and so the plan is to put, uh, level the floor from the joist downstairs somewhat, and then pour that uh, liquid leveler, very similar to what they used in this situation. Maybe put a subfloor on, and then pour that on, or pour it on, put the subfloor on later and then um, put wood flooring throughout it. But you can really see that it's, you can see from my perspective, maybe not through the camera, that it all kind of sags into this middle area really bad. The slope is pretty bad. And uh, this, this wall is directly above that um, heating duct. And um, this is where the main sagging is occurring. And it just has to be addressed somehow before we can put a wood floor in. And um, that's what I'm looking for advice on, is how to support this um, in a way that's going to be, you know, last a long time, really add support, lift it as much as possible. And you can see even the top of this, um, this path, this, uh, um, portal that someone had put in it has sagged and twisted a little bit so the, it, it's like a two inch drop from that side over to the other side it's pretty big drop you can feel it when you're walking across it um, so it's something that uh, I'd like to figure out and, and address before we try to put a wood floor in